Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So today we are in vlogger mode because as you guys mostly know, most of you, most of you mostly know, <laughs> as you guys know, when we go to shopping, when we go to, oh Lord, let me, let me start over. Oh, when we go shopping, we vlog it. So I am about to go to the Dollar Tree. I thought I would take you guys with me. I like to go to the Dollar Tree a couple times a year to pick out goodies. Hopefully they have some cute fall time stuff and I always find some Holy Girl products there as well as some beauty products, home products. You know they got a little bit of everything. So we're going to be going to the Dollar Tree today! Dollar, Dollar, make you okay, so we're going to the Dollar Tree. Really excited about that business. We're going to get in the car and go. I have nothing else to say other than you should be subscribed. Subscribe to my channel before you leave for more Dollar Tree hauls like this. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's go to the Dollar Tree, shall we? Dollar make you holla. Ready. We have made it to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't know what that long pause was. Ooh, it's spooky season. We might have to go to Target after this because I know their spooky season stuff is going to be out. But how cute. Ooh, la, la. Look at the little ghost. He's so handsome. Um, first of all, need these. These represent me in the front yard. Okay, they also have all kinds of fall stuff that is not spooky season stuff. Look how cute. I would kill someone though. If I had to hear that every time someone went in and out of my house, absolutely not. But it's really cute. Uh, it's like a squishy ball of a cat. Oh my god. Like when a cat stretch you out, you just... Hold on, let me see it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we have so many birthdays. We just know so many people. We're just so popular. Um, we should get some birthday bags, though, to stock up. Look at all the pretty colors. I like that they're plain, and then they have stuff to decorate. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Pretty small, though. Yeah? They're so cute. Look, yeah. But those have stuff all over them. I like the plain ones. Ooh, they have tissue paper. Yes. Yes, yes. Ooh, they have plain little brown bags. A two-pack? Baby, that's robbery. I'm taking them. Hey guys, I've been um, doing a lot of painting with my pottery. And I'm wondering if they have sponges. Because I need those for sure so I don't have to go to Michael's. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh, the kitties. I need these. I have a lot of stuff in my basket already. This video is about to get lit. Just us going to the store and buying dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're recording. It's only a dollar. You guys, we're going to do a DIY project at the end of this video, so please just hang tight for that. Um, I'm picking up a couple vases. They have so many here, guys. And these are like cheaper than the thrift store. I'm going to grab this one. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, we are back. This is not. What, why is this here? We're back from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to show you all the goodies that we got. Um, they ran out of bags there, and by the way, I have amped up on reusable, ba reusable bags, and as soon as I did, most stores in California um, don't allow you to bring them in because of COVID, so <laughs> I didn't bring them in, and then they were like, we don't have bags here, and I was like, so I bought these bags. Uh, first off, Tyler bought a coffee mug. This is actually really cute. Like, for a dollar, this is really cute. They sell these at Target for way more than a dollar so that's ties i bought blue pins i don't know about your household but my household all pencils and pens and markers and sharpies go missing immediately so i did a little re-up dollar tree is like one of the cheapest places you can find stuff like that now let's talk about a couple of beauty products that i got i was really excited to see these here these are these soak off nail caps these are like on wish and i don't know other like accessory store sites. I'm going to go ahead and open them and try them out, but whenever you're trying to soak off your gel polish or acrylics or whatever that may be, you can put, um, wrap your nail in a little bit of acetone, cotton ball, and then pop these on. How they stay on. So they come in packs of five. So I was like, well, I have 10 fingers, so I'll buy two packs for only $2. A really good deal. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> Um, okay, where's my other pack of them? That's not bad. Alrighty, I don't really know where my other pack of these are, but just know I am um, pretty pumped about them. 
So I'm gonna be using these. I'm gonna do my nails maybe tomorrow. And um, I don't have to soak anything off because my nails are plain, but I know those will be really useful. Those have been on my, my eye, my list of things to buy. So I saw them and was pretty excited. Um, the next thing that I got that is beauty focused, I got this under eye massager. Sassy, shasha chic. I always have trouble saying it. It's like a tongue twister. Sassy, chic. Slow down, girl. It's sold there. It's like their household brand. So they always have beauty gadgets. Do you guys see this little thing? Here we go. I'm not gonna lie. It feels so good. Oh, it's heavenly. Oh my gosh, I should have bought two of them so I could do it at the same time. Oh my God, it feels so good. <gasps> I think I found a new gym. <laughs> Excuse me while I sit here for 30 minutes and massage my under eye, even with makeup on, it feels incredible. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm into this. Really glad I bought this. Kind of wish I would have bought two, but that may be overkill. The next item from the beauty department that I got is the cuticle trimmer. I've had one for like years and years and years, which is getting a little rusty crusty. I do fear that this one will not be as good as mine. Yeah, no, I wait, let's see. You gotta lift the little. <gasps> Makes a popping noise. Ooh, it's not smooth. Like, I'm not gonna put that close to my cuticle. Hello. And it like pop. You know, it needs to be. Ooh, ah, well, it's working. They're really sharp. I think they, it's really stiff, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't like glide, like it's, I don't really like that about it. I might be sticking to my old one because this one makes me nervous, but especially around the cuticles, I don't want to like cut myself. I thought I would give it a try just to see. It's not a one, you know, it's not the heather of cuticle trimmers, but, I don't know, I may give it another try. I did buy a lip product, let's try it on. I got the lip gloss from LA Colors. It is called Dreamy Pink, and it looks like a dream in there. Doesn't that look really pretty? Let's try it on. Ooh, trying out our Dollar Tree stuff. Here we go. Mmm, it smells really good. Ooh, it is pretty, it's really pretty. Ooh. Oh, I'm into it. That, that's really pretty. For a dollar? Yes, ma'am. I really like it. Wow. Okay, we have a win. We have a lose. We have a win. We have some wins. We have a couple wins. Also in the beauty department, I just picked up Dial White Soap. I like using plain white soap oftentimes to wash my body, so I just picked up some extra. They always have a really big soap selection, which is always very affordable, of course. I found the second thing of Nell Things. What are these? soak off caps i found the second container on like i said i got two of those i could do all my nails at once i also picked up some nail polish remover i personally just like to use the kind that's 100 acetone and they never have it at the dollar tree they always have like the actual like gentle which doesn't remove crap they actually had the 100 acetone another product i probably should have bought two of but i was really excited so it just kind of goes with my nail stuff they had a lot of good nail gadgets Lots of nail polishes. They actually had acetone, so they were really stocked up in the nail section, which was exciting for me because this year I have been, the lack thereof, but I've been kind of doing my nails myself. Most days I just have plain nails because like when I do my nails myself, even like my gel nails, like it just, it doesn't last as long. It doesn't last as long. And the press-ons, they don't last as long. So I have I got acrylics in February before we closed down everything. And I haven't had acrylics since. So I've been investing in a couple different nail products as you guys may have noticed. Let's talk about arts and crafts because they had a huge arts and crafts stock section. And I've been into that lately. And I want to talk a little bit about why I've been into that. So I've been into it because I find that like being stuck at home and leaving your house very little and i mean that's just my life now you know and i've gotten used to it a lot but it does build up a lot of anxiety that i didn't really have before because i'm stuck here so you, your mind wonders and it creates anxiety so it's important to keep your mind busy but not always busy with work and dueling tasks dwelling tasks maybe that was the word i was looking for i picked up some stuff in the craft section because i'm i the last Dollar tree haul i believe i bought a little craft thing 
and I painted it and I really enjoyed doing it. So this back around, I had the intention on finding more gadgets to do crafts with. If you hang tight towards the end of this video, we're gonna do crafts with some vase faces. <laughs> so I bought this vase, we're gonna be painting. I bought this candle holder, we're gonna be painting. I bought, ooh, I really like this one. I like the shape of it. We're gonna be painting her. But let me just show you what else I got in the craft section. I hope this inspires you guys because I know everybody deals with different levels of anxiety and mental health. So I thank you. I hope you guys take what I say seriously and do what you need to do to help yourself. And this is an extremely affordable way to do it. So I bought this word search book. And I bought this one because I like the size of the word searches. I don't like whenever they're tiny on the page because they give me a headache to look at. But they were really big. <laughs> one of my 82. But they were really big, so I think I would enjoy doing this. Um, I thought that would be a great little thing to do. Also, whenever I'm watching TV, I've watched so much TV at night. I used to like a couple nights a week would go hang out with friends or go out to eat or go see a movie. And now I like kind of don't get to do much of that anymore. So it's like TV, TV, TV. I get tired of TV. So I um, bought things to do at night as well. <laughs> this little, I thought it was so cute. You get two posters. They're so random. A little boy flying a kite and a squirrel. Great. And it comes with this little paint kit and a paintbrush. And last time I did something similar like this from the Dollar Tree, something very similar to this. And I really enjoyed it actually, so. I also picked up these trays. I bought these before. Oh my God, you get six of them. I don't remember getting six last time. Maybe I did. For our arts and crafts that we're gonna be doing at the end of the video, I need these, so this is a part of the project. Here's another arts and crafts item that I got. This is called Wood Shop, and you build your own birdhouse. And I'm gonna build this and put it on my balcony if it turns out okay. Scissors. Who doesn't need scissors? They were only a dollar, so I picked these up. Their arts and crafts section was lit, honey. It was a mini Michaels in there. Everything a dollar. Um, okay, I bought this like loofah sponge from <laughs> the Dollar Tree. It's a bath sponge, but I'm gonna cut it up and use it for our arts and crafts again. How many times have I said arts and crafts a lot? Actually, looking in that section for a, a paint sponge, and they didn't really have that. And then I noticed when I was painting vases the other day, I didn't have a sponge like this. I thought I did. And so then I was in the bath section. I was like, literally, there's the sponge that I'm looking for. So I went ahead and picked it up. And I might just use it and show you guys how I'm going to use it. I also got this bag that I paid a dollar for. It's really cute, though. Okay. A candle lighter because my green one is out. Oh, I also grabbed this at the bath section. So I'm into show you guys this already but it is a soap saver so i have this wooden piece of wood <laughs> a wooden plank that goes across my bathtub to put all like my bath caddy stuff in the bar of soap because i like i said i use bar soap it sticks to the wood and it like leaves a big ring on the wood so they have these and they're just like a dollar for two. And there's like a little clear thing for me to put down. It's like the Dollar Tree has those little things that I need so bad, but I don't even know that I need them until you see it. And you're like, yes, that's what I need to go with my soap. It's like the perfect concoction right here. Um, you can also keep these at your bathroom sink if you wash your hands with bar soap. And they had them in clear, which is the exact color that I wanted. So I was like, it just perfect. Um, they had a huge birthday gift. They had a huge fall section, which I was like, hey, Oh, I love fall time. It's like my favorite time of year. So I did pick up some Halloween stuff. I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, I also grabbed the tacky glue. This is an arts and crafts glue for my mini projects. And I also picked up an adhesive spray glue. I don't know how well these work. I have not tried them out yet or like ever used Dollar Tree glues before. Unless it's like just plain like Elmer type glue. But I haven't used their craft glue and I'm always up to something. So I figured it'd be good to have these two on hand. And while their craft section was like locked and loaded, I was like fully taken advantage. Okay, then they had the birthday section that was full. So I just bought these plain brown bags and I was gonna put like pretty white tissue paper and like a pretty burlapy bow for people's gifts. I thought that would be like a very aesthetically pleasing, beautiful gift that would look you could put in here and it would look like, you know, you spend a lot on the packaging, but not so much. Here's my tissue paper. I guess I didn't get any white tissue paper. Oh yeah, I did. Yep. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, great. Well, we'll do hot pink. Ziploc bags. I actually use reusable bags tied through these in there. I don't think he likes my reusable bags very much. Okay, and then I always hit the container part up in the Dollar Tree. You guys know 
know I always hit the container part up, but let me just just hear me out I was cleaning out my junk drawers, which is a disgusting task that I hate doing But what happened was I had opened the junk drawer to get something out of the junk drawer And then I just started moving stuff around and then it just turned into chaos And then I started organizing that one and I moved on to all 82 junk drawers that I have in my house Most of us have a lot of junk drawers with lots of random batteries and keys and whatever else in the world's in there And as I was organizing the junk drawers, I was like, well, I really don't really I really don't really I really don't have anywhere to like organize the stuff I'm just like putting it in different sections in the drawer so I thought that these little containers you get a two-pack for a dollar would be perfect for my junk drawer I thought it was a pretty good deal for a two-pack 50 cents each and um, now I can put like our batteries scissors pins stuff lined up in the drawer like this and it would be a little more organized I'm a Virgo I'm an organized Queen. So then I also bought these baskets because under our TV we have like all of our remote controls for the Wii And I was literally finding like my wicker nice baskets like this <laughs> That I put on the shelf to decorate with I was putting them in this type of basket And I was like what in the world and I was like well I don't have anything else So I'm gonna trade those out take my baskets back and I'm gonna use these I bought these little rocks which are great so if you plant something you can put these on top of the sole which helps keep your animal from peeing in them and it also looks very pretty so that's kind of my idea with these come here what are you doing <laughs> you guys look at this little thing look at this little lady oh peach anyways that's my plan with that then i bought this really beautiful black spooky ribbon and I bought two rolls of it because I thought it'd be cute to decorate for Halloween with these. Next up, I bought three more containers. But here's what I like about these. They came with lids. Let's try it out. Maybe I'll use these in my beauty room. Mm, okay, here we go. Ooh, the lid pops on. Well, kind of. All right, there we go. Not bad. Isn't that nice? It's like a nice container for a dollar. So I bought three of these because I was like, okay, that's a really cool. And I liked them because with the lid, you can then stack your containers and put them away nicely. So I thought I would use some of those for under cabinets as well. I got some micro cloths because he says that every cloth that we have in the house, he's not allowed to get dirty, which he's not. So he bought some cloths to specifically get dirty. I never do festive hand towels or anything like that. I just keep it playing throughout the year, but I saw these for a dollar and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I love you. I bought tongs. Woo, tongs! Oh, I bought a cat toy. I forgot, baby, look what I bought. Come here, come here. Oh, do you love it? Yeah, I think you do. You better get it, you better get it. Okay, and lastly, this stuff just gets weird. It's just random stuff. So we bought a cat. Oops, um, stress ball. If you don't have a stress ball in your house, get a stress ball. Vicky, what do you think about this? Oh my goodness, what do you think? What is this? Huh? No, she doesn't care. Then we got randomly these molding things that look like Halloween. Girl, I can't get it out. Actually, it's really lame. Do not buy this. Like it barely moves, it's so stiff, I hate it. It's lame, it's not as fun as you think. How am I gonna hate it? It's like really lame. I thought it would be fun, it's not fun. Let's see. Dude, it's so lame. <laughs> the grower. Let's throw them in the pool and Let's see what happens. Let's throw them in the pool, come on. All right. Okay guys, I have the fish. Aaron has the octopus. Ty has the alligator. We're gonna drop them in water and watch them grow. <laughs> like 10 hours later. There we go. All right, see how big they are. So wait, do we just leave them for a while? 600% bigger is what they're supposed to get. 600%? So six times. Yeah. All right, Aaron, uh, the results. I feel like my octopus got bigger. I mean, this is a flop. No, well, we knew it was gonna be a flop. Did we? I knew. I didn't know. I feel like this is the same size. Well, now we know, guys. Um, if you want your fish stir, didn't do anything. It literally did nothing. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I also bought this for Erin, and I bought it for her because I know she will think it's so cute. So we're about to give it to her and see her reaction. 
what I got you from the Dollar Tree? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> it matches my room. It's, it's green. Look, and I'm gonna put some. Uh, you saw that? Come. Follow me. It shall go right here. No. It shall go right here. I shouldn't have bought the trash can. Where I will put my shaker in there. Do you have a cat in here? Yes. Even bad girl. She loves getting in Aaron's bed. Now entered into the arts and crafts part of this Dollar Tree video. So this is just my art bag where I have all my paints in. I wanted to show you guys a glass little jar that I did and it looks clay now. I added a lot of texture to this one. Um, I think the more practice you get on this, the better you get. But this is like one of my first ones. Actually, this is my first one that I did. That is not from the Dollar Tree. Someone gave me that jar. And then these are my Dollar Tree pieces. And then this is just an extra piece that I have. Here are my paints that I chose. They are all from Michaels. I just chose some neutral colors. Our Dollar Tree paint boards. You'll need some baking powder. By the way, I will link down below the video of the tutorial that I'm following on this. This is our Dollar Tree sponge. I just thought I would have fun and try it out for texture and see how that looks. You'll need a bowl, some sponge brushes, some baking powder, and this just a little scooper for the baking powder. And then there is some white paint. That way you can make your um, colors lighter or darker. I would use this to make them darker and that to make them lighter. And I'm gonna start mixing paint in a bowl. So to get started, I've mixed a little bit of a khaki color with white. So it'll be like kind of like an off-white. And then I believe she said use a teaspoon for every cup of paint that you use. I just eyeballed it last time and it worked out great. Like less is more and I would mix and then add. So right now I'm just gonna add that much and then I'm gonna mix it all together. Be careful mixing it together because like the powder will fly everywhere. That's what happened to me. So I kind of folded it instead of like really mixed it. All right, and now you can tell it kind of gives it like a bumpy clay-like texture. So it looks like you're putting cement or a clay product onto the vase. And really, it's just paint. Um, and then on this one, I'll probably do two full layers. So I'll do a layer. I kind of try to do the same direction too, like this with a sponge brush. And then I'll go back and do a second layer just to make sure everything's covered. this I did like a big dollop of the darkest brown a lot of white and then the baking powder I hope I didn't say baking soda okay this one I added a little bit too much but it turned out to be this really beautiful tan color I need to add a little more white paint okay I think I have it really pretty to like a muted beige color which I really like you just have to play with it like I said so here we go sponge will do I just want to try it <laughs> I don't know that it's gonna look good but <gasps> it's kind of neat it really gives it like a lot of um, vintage texture okay that's really neat and you can see some of the darkness from the glass peering through which guys, I kind of like it I really like the uh, textured look Lastly, I'm gonna paint the last jar the same color as I did the first jar so they match. Okay, we are waiting on them all to dry to get the second layer. When they get the second layer, I promise it looks so much better. It also, whenever it dries, it's more matte, so it looks really clay-like. Alrighty, 
right, guys, we have our finished vases. I think they look so expensive, especially these two right here. Um, I added a little bit of pompous grass in them, and I think these are called lion's tails, maybe? But look at the texture on them. This one got a little hunky chunky, but I don't know, it looks really cool. I like it, but anyways, you guys can make them however you prefer but i do think they are really pretty they sell something so similar at crate and barrel also here is our little brown guy right here i kind of love the color brown i kind of do and i kind of don't i might change it but still think it's pretty and yeah this is our finished project and here is our small jar i absolutely love the way the small one came out and even if you put them in a collection together i think they'd be really pretty all sitting next to one another how freaking cute. This one might need another layer in the sunlight. I'm seeing a little more blue come through, but I like the texture and I like the darkness showing through. It makes it look kind of vintagey. Yes, yes. So that is it for this video, guys. I'm really excited about how it turned out. One dollar, one dollar, and a little craft paint. I love you guys. I lost some fingernail polish along the way. And <laughs> subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.